Good Wednesday evening, pretty quiet across the Brazos Valley, but notice out across northern Texas dealing with a few severe storms there. A couple have produced some tornadoes, so there's one storm to the west of Dallas, Fort Worth, keeping an eye on that as it tries to work its way into Tarrant and eventually Dallas counties. That not tornado warned right now, but it's possible it could be later and one storm that has produced a confirmed tornado at times working its way out of Wise County into southern parts of Montague and Cook County. That'll eventually cross the I-35 corridor near Gainesville within the next hour. So if you have any family or friends up there, make sure you call and let them know that there are some pretty intense storms working their way into parts of northern Texas, including the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Good news is though here in the Brazos Valley again, really quiet. We're just seeing those high clouds stream in. can't rule out a couple sprinkles over the next few hours, but we should be thunderstorm free for the next several hours. That's going to change though heading into tomorrow. I'll have details on that here in a second. We're noticing those southerly winds continuing to pull in that warm moist air into the Brazos Valley. That's why those temperatures have been so mild over the past few days. 74 in Bryan College Station, 75 in Hearn Caldwell sitting at 72 degrees. So that Gulf moisture feeding into the Brazos Valley, that's going to continue to sustain those storms over northern Texas. But notice out near that dry line, we start to see some new activity develop. This will likely become severe and work its way into the Texas Hill Country as we head into the early morning hours. And just before that sunrise, we should see it try to work into the western zone. And then by 8 a.m., we should see a few showers out across the Brazos Valley. Not going to be widespread, but can't rule out a few showers, maybe even a couple rumbles of thunder. This model really not detecting it too well. It's showing that activity to the north and that's where most of it will be, but we can't rule out a couple showers or isolated storms tomorrow morning in the Brazos Valley. So if you hear a rumble of thunder, don't be surprised. Just have that umbrella ready as you head out of the door. Heading into the afternoon hours, we'll see a few breaks in the cloud cover and that will allow some daytime heating to heat that atmosphere up and get it a little bit unstable just in time for a cold front to work its way in. That will spark some more showers and thunderstorms. So that set up tomorrow, we have a little dip in the jet stream starting to work its way into the plains. That's going to help that cold front work its way south into the Brazos Valley. Temperatures well above average in the upper 70s, lower 80s across the entire Brazos Valley. So when you have those warm temperatures paired with really nice dew point temperatures in the upper 60s, lower 70s, that creates some juice or some energy for those storms to work with. Now, we need a little bit of shear, so we'll kind of, we'll take a look at the upper levels of the atmosphere. The strongest winds going to be to the north of the Brazos Valley, and when we look at the low level jet, it's not really going to be centered over the Brazos Valley. Notice that it is to our north and east, so we don't have the sufficient shear in place for any uh, widespread severe thunderstorms across the Brazos Valley. So it doesn't look like a big tornado threat or an enhanced damaging wind threat, just because those best factors going to be toward the north and the east. But keep Keep in mind that with the warm temperatures and those dew points high, that's enough energy to support isolated severe thunderstorms. Most storms will be on the strong side, but stay just below severe levels. We do have a level one risk for the western parts of the Brazos Valley extending into that northern zone. Again, we can't rule out a wind gust up to 60 miles per hour, maybe some quarter sized hell tomorrow afternoon, but most areas are going to see just some stronger storms. And again, best chance will be late Thursday in to early Friday morning. Notice those temperatures are going to fall throughout the day on Friday, so that temperature is a little bit deceiving. It'll be warmest in the morning before those temperatures fall throughout the day. Weekend going to be chilly, not as cold as it originally looked in the low 60s Saturday, but then notice the high temperatures next week almost hit 90 degrees by Thursday. Okay. It's Wednesday. Exactly. We're almost halfway through the week, exactly. or we are halfway through the week. Yeah, yes. there we go. Don't oh, mind we're that. more than halfway, 10 o'clock show. Exactly. Our text line also isn't just open for coronavirus. You can get the latest from Christopher by texting us too. Just text the word weather to 979-703-8404 and we'll send you the latest information on the potential for severe weather. If you have any great weather picks or just want to show us a great sunset or some cool lightning video, text us again at 979-703-8404. We love to feature your photo on air or online. Yeah, and just make sure you're safe when you're doing it. We don't want you going out there in a tornado or when there's lightning, but just when you're able to capture a picture safely, send it our way. Love that zip whip. Perfect. Thank you, Christopher. We've got some at-home workouts up next. And later, we take a look at a family story and why it's so important to social distance at a time like this. You won't want to miss it. More chaos <laughs> after the break.